This segment is all about identifying the ins and outs of a true drop one planter. Let's start with our patented water level indicator that shows how much water is in the cavity. When it's empty, nothing shows up on the clear cap. Once you start to fill it with water, the outer circle comes up first to indicate that it's 50% full. Then the inner circle rises up to show that it's 100% full. Next to your indicator, you will find the tethered water cap that covers your water cavity and prevents contamination. This is where you will water with a hose or watering can. Next is the overflow drain. When using outdoors, this will drain excess rainwater and prevent plants from overwatering. If you have one of our nest planters or our mod mini trough, the overflow is on the side instead of underneath. If used indoors, our red plug can be screwed in to seal the overflow drain. Next up is the main drain. This hole is always plugged except when you want to empty the water cavity to move, replant, or when cleaning. Note that our smaller planters are not equipped with the main drain, so these should just be tilted to empty. To seal the main drain, use the gray push plug and rubber insert. The rubber insert should be placed first and then the gray plug. Our cone design is at the core of our planter and serves as a vehicle to hydrate your potting soil so it can water and feed plants from the roots up, just like in nature and in professional greenhouses, for healthier plants. Here's a quick recap to identify the different parts of your Crescent Garden True Drop planter. The indicator, water intake hole, overflow drain, red plug, main drain, gray push plug, and the center cone.